Hello and welcome back to another virtual brewery tour here at Brewtoon. Now that we're done with our boil, we're going to have to move on to fermentation. But before we can do that, we're going to do a process known as the whirlpool. Now our kettle doubles up as a whirlpool. What we do here is just spin the wort around really quickly. We do that for about half an hour. That just ensures that all the leftover malts and hops and proteins are separated from the wort. So once we're done with the whirlpool, we want to transfer our wort over to one of these big fermentation vessels here. So before we transfer over from the brew, we want to pass our wort through a heat exchanger. Now this is going to rapidly cool the beer down. Also at this stage, we're going to add a little bit of oxygen. Now we know oxygen is not very good for beer, but at this stage it's very important to enable yeast to survive. So the process of fermentation itself is to allow all those sugars we extracted from the malts at the first stage, the mash, and turn those sugars into alcohol. To do this, we introduce yeast. Now yeast will eat away at the sugar and it will turn those sugars into alcohol. We also introduced oxygen. We need to do this because that enables the yeast to breathe. It will inhale oxygen and exhale CO2 and that is where beer gets its carbonation. Now this all happens over a period of five to ten days. Now there's a few different ways to do this. One way is top fermentation is where the yeast sits at the top of the vessel and is classically used for beers such as stouts, ales, IPAs, wheat beers. Another way of fermentation is bottom fermentation. Now, this is commonly used to create beers such as lager. This process will end when the yeast has eaten all the sugar it possibly can. When this happens, what we do is crash the beer. Now, that is just bringing the temperature down enough to kill off any yeast and stop any more activity inside the beer. After we've crashed the beer, we're going to take a final gravity. Now, we took an original gravity during the boil. What we're going to do is compare the two, and the difference is the alcohol content of the beer. In a brief recap, spin your beer round, separating it from any unwanted matter. Pass it into one of these fermentation vessels here via a heat exchanger. Add your yeast, let that sit for five to 10 days. Take your final gravity and that is it, done.